Well, the British Airways Legends is, of course, a very important destination to be go. One of our niches is sport tourism, and so we try at all times to ensure that we have um, persons from different destinations or from our target market in particular, UK in this instance, coming to Tobago to experience what we have to offer. So it was very important for us to collaborate with the British Airways um, team to have this particular initiative in Destination Tobago. Of course, you know it is about having the former um, football players, football players who have international repute. And we have teams from Manchester United, Tottenham, uh, to name a few. And we anticipate that over 1,000 persons will be coming to Destination Tobago to be a part of the arrangement. Because, of course, we know that sport tourism is important and it contributes endlessly uh, to the economy. Apart from that, it helps to high-profile Destination Tobago. Well, our key focus on WTM is um, destination awareness, uh, trying to ensure that the UK market is well penetrated. Of course, you know that the UK market is a traditional market for us, and we want to ensure that all our niches are well advertised, and more so that Destination Tobago is well known and is one of the Caribbean destinations that is first and foremost in the minds of the UK of the UK passengers. So we are here with a very restructured and more cohesive uh, marketing campaign, one that sees um, very bright um, colors that we are utilizing, which sends a signal that we are a very warm and friendly com uh, country and island. And most importantly, um, one that sells the message, uh, come to Tobago to experience the culture. Um, it's the way of life of the people. We have excellent beaches. We have warm and friendly people. We have a destination that offers um, endless relaxation opportunities. The oldest um, and most protected rainforest in the Western Hemisphere and also um, facilities that are comparable to most of the Caribbean destinations. So that is a new um, a new area for us, conference tourism. Initially, we have been focusing on sport tourism, eco-tourism, leisure tourism, romance tourism, uh, cultural tourism, and now with our brand new Shaw Park cultural facility, it offers the opportunity for us to focus on conference tourism as well. That can hold up to 5,000 uh, persons seated. There will be smaller breakout rooms, and it's a facility that allows the UK market to come to Destination Tobago to not only experience um, the sun, the sea and the sand and the culture, but also our conference facilities as well. And it is expected that we'll be open in the first quarter of January 2015. One of the things that we are targeting is the uh, Latvia a choral festival that is of international repute um, offers quite a lot of opportunities in terms of bringing persons uh, to Tobago. Um, we also have been working endlessly with the UK Chartered Accounts to have the ACCA conference in Tobago as well and there have been um, some health fairs that are booked um, to be staged at the Shopper Cultural Facility as we speak. Some interesting plans for raising shipwrecks from the, if I remember rightly, 17th century. Really yes, um, the, 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 the war that was fought between the British, the um, Dutch, and the French um, was actually one of it was actually fought in Destination Tobago. Um, currently, we are working with the Rockley Bay uh, team project, and that is a collaboration of universities, Connecticut, and it is led by Dr. Bacharov. Uh, from that particular university and the Tobago House of Assembly um, is funding the project in its entirety along with some um, sponsorship from the U.S. Uh, Embassy and the whole intention is to raise or, or, or bring to life the artifacts that are there. Um, there has been some sightings in terms of um, activity, um, uh, ornaments from the shipwreck and we are hoping that we can use that to promote cultural uh, tourism on the island.